Happy Wednesday, everyone. I hope that you have been having a great week in the Lord, that you've just been enjoying Christ in you and um, just letting him love on you and nourish you and um, just that's just the ultimate life if you're a believer in Christ. And so uh, I'm going to give everyone a minute to jump on the live. If you are on, I ask that you introduce yourself and and just as a comment. Oh, hi, Nancy. Glad you're on uh, today. And if you would just uh, post a comment uh, where what part of the world you're from. So because people all over the world could be tuning in to this live. So anyway, if you'll do that, I'd appreciate it as you get on the live. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I've got some quite a few things I, I'm going to do this afternoon. I'm going to have lunch with my mother-in-law and um, also do my weekly grocery shop, Wednesday weekly grocery, grocery shopping trip. And so um, the, today's live, I, I don't think it's going to take very much time. But anyway, what I want to talk to you today is I just want to ask you a question. I just want to ask you, how is your love walk? Do you find it easy or difficult to love other people? Now, we all must admit that some people are just easier to love than others. But when we withhold our love from other people, what we're doing is we're walking by the flesh instead of by Christ's spirit who lives in us 24-7, 365. Now, obviously, I'm not talking about remaining in an abusive situation. Um, in fact, one of the greatest things we can do if uh, one of the greatest ways we can love another person is if they are abusing us either uh, verbally, uh, emotionally or physically. Uh, is to remove ourselves from them until the abusive behavior stops. And so really, abusive situations are beyond the scope of today's life. I am not a licensed counselor. I have a list of people who are that are steeped in the grace message. If, <clears throat> if you need extra help or if you're in that kind of situation, <clears throat> But today's message uh, is just, it's based on just the average day-to-day -day, uh, interactions with other people. And so in Ephesians 5, 2, Paul writes, walk in love just as Christ also loved you. Now, scripture <clears throat> is clear that we should be loving others as Christ loves us, which is unconditional. So the most obvious question then is if we aren't loving others, then why aren't we? Well, today's devotion is going to reveal the one flesh pattern that will trip us up more than anything else in our walk, in our love walk. And it also reveals God's solution to that. I'm so thankful that God has a solution for our struggles. And so we are in day 22 in my newest book, 50 Days in His Pursuing Love Devotional, getting to know the one who loved you first and loves you most. And I'm going to read day 22. The title is, If You Are Doing This, You Are Not Loving. If you just relax, put yourself in receiving mode, uh, and just, just uh, take in these words from your beloved to you today. My treasure, 
The snares of the flesh can trip you up as you walk through this world. These traps are cleverly devised by the enemy of your heart. One of the most common and destructive snares is judgment. A negative focus on the visible flaws in your own and others' appearance and behavior. Even though you may not realize it, you are doing math when you judge another person. You are taking away from their value when you, I'm sorry, you are taking away from their value in order to add to yours. You do this because you don't understand the unsurpassable value you already have. I long for you to believe the truth that you will never be worth more or less to me than you are in this moment. It is impossible to unconditionally love someone and judge them at the same time. Judgment and no strings attached love are mutually exclusive. And judging yourself is just as destructive as judging someone else. When you find yourself steeped in self-judgment and judging others, you need to come back to God's love 101 and meditate on truth. The truth of my limitless, unchanging love for you and the entire human race. The ultimate worth of anything is determined by what the highest bidder is willing to pay in order to possess it. You, along with every other person who has ever existed or will exist, have unsurpassable worth. This is because I paid the highest price, my life, so that you could become mine forever by believing into me. Now, what I want to focus on from today's devotion is that when we judge another person, what we are really doing is taking away from their worth to add to ours. We do this because we don't understand that we're already loved with an unsurpassable love and we already have unsurpassable worth. We couldn't be worth more than we are right now in this moment. Our worth is not based on our behavior. It's, both, it's based on the fact that Jesus died for us. So, and God proved it, our unsurpassable worth by sending Jesus to die on a cross for our sins. And he did this so that we could be joined in eternal spiritual union with him through faith, through belief into him. Now, when we begin to understand that the entire human race is worth the very blood of Jesus and allow ourselves to enjoy his unconditional, unsurpassable love for us personally, we will automatically express it to others. Romans 5.5 5 tells us that God's love has already been poured out into our hearts through his spirit who lives in us 24-7. 365. So uh, we can't say that we don't have it in us to love other people because we have the very love of God, the very presence of God living in us, who is perfect love from which to love others. Uh, but if we don't know that, if we don't acknowledge and, and enjoy his special love, for us, we're going to find it very difficult uh, to love other people because we're walking in deception. So I just want to encourage you today. If your love, if you feel like your love walk has grown cold, or maybe you never really even had much of a love walk, 
Uh, I want you to remind yourself of the unsurpassable worth of every human being on the face of this earth because of Jesus' blood. And let him love on you today. And really, this, this today's live, today's devotion, it could really be summed up uh, with one statement. And that is the secret to loving is living loved in Christ. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Nancy. I'm glad to have you on here. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your first name, Raja, Raha. Um, glad to have you on today. And so, really, you know, you might want to write that on a piece of paper and hang it up just as a reminder that the secret to loving, to unconditionally loving others is living loved in Christ. And uh, just keep it simple. The secret to loving is living loved. You know what that means. And so um, I hope that helps uh, encourage you in your love walk today. And tomorrow I'm going to be sharing with you day 23. And uh, the title of it is You Were Made for This. And if uh, you aren't experiencing fulfillment in your walk with the Lord, then I just want to encourage you uh, to tune in to the live tomorrow or, or catch the replay uh, for some encouragement uh, and, you know, experiencing fulfillment in your walk with the Lord. And until then, I just want to encourage you. Um, Oh, I'm seeing a few other comments before I before I close off. This was a short live today. Uh, thank you, thank you, Nancy. You know you're welcome. I'm I'm glad uh, that this is encouraging to you. And hi, Iris. Just want to say hi to you. Thanks for joining the live. Love the flowers. I I love flowers. So thank you so much. Uh, so I'm I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off and and I'll see you tomorrow. But until then, I just want to encourage you that your happily forever after in Christ has already started. So enjoy him today. Bye for now.